just made it to Alaska. First impression right out of the gate is, holy moly, it's bright. Now we're on a mission to find a place to drop our bags. Apparently at this airport, there is a place that you can store your luggage for a small fee. That is where I am off to, and then we're gonna explore Anchorage. So you don't have to pay up front. You can pay when you pick up your baggage, but it's open until 1 a.m., which is awesome. The first stop is Earthquake Park, which is located right next to the airport. The park is a monument that was made to remember the largest quake ever recorded in North America at a 9.2 magnitude back in 1964. Save a brain, wear a bicycle helmet, and keep your doggos on a leash. After some exploring around the area, we settled for a bite to eat in downtown Anchorage at Glacier Brew House. I got some fresh Alaskan salmon. It was really tasty and some asparagus. So the coolest thing just happened. This group of hikers just came up to us and gave us this bear mace because they're getting ready to board a flight and obviously they can't bring it. So they saw my hiking boots attached to my backpack and they were like, do you want this? So it's super heavy duty bear mace. So I'm all set for my hike. I don't even have to go and run one of the errands that I was gonna go and do. So score. We just walked around town a little bit, bought some gifts at the gift shop, and now it is exactly 5 p.m., so we're getting ready to go and pick up the rental car, and then right after that, we are going to Flat Top Mountain. It has been five minutes. <laughs> it was a great workout. I saw a lot of people running up this thing. Feeling the burn. One thing I was not prepared for here in Alaska was the level of aggressiveness with the mosquitoes. I went home with over 40 bites all over my body, even though I was wearing bug repellent. Kinda wish I had been rocking the mosquito net. Watch that step. It's a doozy. The climb itself was anything but easy. We got to a part that was nothing but large rocks and boulders that were pretty challenging to navigate around. We had no idea what we were signing up for and the last hour we spent actually doing some rock climbing. Total hike round trip took us about four hours. If you plan to do this hike, make sure you're in good shape and bring lots of water. It's nearly 10 p.m. How bright it is. Can't believe we made it to the top. I had no idea what we were signing up for, but we made it. Persevered, and this view is totally worth it. Day two in Alaska, and there has been Lots of smoke in the area because of a wildfire that broke out. And the air quality right now is just terrible. It's totally affecting visibility of the mountains. I don't even know if you can see it, but there's a really pretty mountain up there that's covered with snow and it's just, you could barely even see it. So we'll see how this day goes. Regardless of the smoke, we are planning to go to Portage Glacier today. The hike in total time takes about four hours, two hours each way. And that will be pretty much the highlight of today. So we're gonna go shop for some food and get some snacks for the hike and then get going. Hopefully the, the smoke will be blown away by the wind. The funny thing about Alaska is you really lose track of time because the sun in the summer is 
almost always up. So when we were hiking yesterday, it was really bright outside, but we didn't realize that it was already 10 p.m. The area we're staying in now gets about 20 hours of sunlight. The sun did end up setting last night, but it never got dark. It was the weirdest thing. There was never a point during the night last night that it was pitch black and actually looked like nighttime. So that's kind of cool when you're here in the summer. So you do have lots of hours of daytime and if you can survive off of four hours of sleep, you can jam pack so much in one day. Just finished up picking up some snacks at Crow Creek Mercantile. It's pretty much the only grocery store in town here in Girdwood. It's a tinier store, it's a small town, you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, so the prices are gonna be a lot higher here, but one thing to keep in mind is there's no sales tax. So I think that kind of balances things out, but if you're looking to save money and have a wider variety of options for snacks and groceries, I would definitely shop first in Anchorage at Walmart or something and then drive down to Girdwood. But I was actually surprised. They did have a decent selection. They do have bear mace. They do have mosquito repellent in there. Some different food items. Just got to Portage Glacier area. A little bit lost right now because the GPS is obviously not working because we're out of cell service. So we're gonna have to stop at the visitor center and kind of figure out where we're going, but we can see the glacier. We just can't get to the trailhead just yet. But this, this, we'll stay here for a minute and appreciate this view. To get to Portage Pass Trailhead, we had to go through a two and a half mile one lane tunnel, which I'll go more into detail about later in this video. Just started the Portage Pass Trail. There are so many mosquitoes and I feel so much better about today because we have our insect repellent. So I feel completely guarded. Now the Whittier Tunnel is only open until 11 p.m. Unfortunately, I don't think we have left ourselves enough time to do the entire hike because it takes about four hours minimum round trip. But I don't know, we'll get as much as we can. I think we're gonna get relatively close to the glacier, still be able to capture some beautiful shots. The hike is about two miles in length one way and it begins with a fairly strenuous climb with 750 feet in elevation gain. Once it levels off, you're rewarded at the top of the pass with an epic view fit for your Instagram feed. From the top of the pass, the trail descends down the hill and ends at Portage Lake. Hopeful that we still had some time if we hurried, we ran the rest of the way in order to make it back to the tunnel before it closed for the night. Portage Glacier, it's right behind me, and you can see all these little pieces of glacier in Portage Lake. Good morning, this is day three in Alaska. We're now heading to 
Whittier from Girdwood, and the interesting thing about Whittier is the only way to get there from the north is via a tunnel that was built in World War II era. But the thing about this tunnel is it's only one lane, so you have to time your arrival perfectly because they switch directions with traffic every 30 minutes. Right now we are essentially driving through a mountain and it feels like it goes on forever. This thing goes for about eight minutes. <laughs> Next adventure is sea kayaking in Prince William Sound. We went with Alaska sea kayakers for about $150 per person for a six hour tour. Whittier is located about an hour south of Anchorage, so this is definitely doable as a day trip if that's where you're staying. Got my spray skirt for water spray, so I'm nice and comfortable. Because the water is only a few degrees above freezing, we were provided with spray skirts as a barrier to help us stay warm and dry. Walking through the glacier temperature water in the big boots, trying not to fall. It's doable, but if water gets in these boots, it will not be a happy day. <laughs> The cool thing about this kayak tour was that we stopped at these really interesting coves that had the most beautiful waterfalls and creeks to play in. So this is Prince William Sound and right behind me is Billings Glacier. The water temperature is somewhere between a brisk 36 degrees Fahrenheit and 40 something. So we're doing our best to stay stable. My kayak has a rudder, which is really cool because it makes steering so much easier. It's the first time I've actually been in a kayak like this, but just how hard this is. Beautiful today. And there's actually not that much fire smoke. On the lake, you can still kind of see it's a little hazy, but it's still beautiful. That's all I have for the first half of my Alaska summer video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see some more travel videos just like this, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to click the bell so you know when new videos are posted and I will see you in the next Alaska video. And it's the first time I've driven, driven. Um, so right now we are essentially, oh, I'm covering the mic. All right, three, two, one. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour. It takes, for the love of God. <laughs>